how to export data from SQL Server Management Studio to a CSV file. First, we're gonna create the CSV file and save it to the desktop. Because when you export, you have to have a destination to put the actual information from SQL Server. So we're going to, I like to date the files. We're gonna create a .csv, save it to the desktop so you know we can see that, you can see that, it's very clear. So that's the formatting for these videos. We're gonna right click on the database. We're gonna to go to tasks, export data. We're gonna hit next, select the data source, Microsoft OLEB DB driver for SQL server. We're gonna to go to properties. We're gonna go ahead and log into our server. So pretty much this is previous videos. We're going to hit the username, password like usual, and we're going to allow saving Again, make sure you have this handy when you actually create this. And we created this in a previous video. You can check out that video uh, in the playlist when we created this database server. Um, we also created it within Microsoft Azure as well. So check out the playlist for that. We're going to go ahead and hit next. Destination. It's going to be a flat file destination since this is a CSV file. We're going to go to our desktop, CSV files to show, please open. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Yes, let's go ahead and try this, copy destination. All right, that looks fine. Comma delimiter, yes, as a uh, the delimiter is going to be a comma separator. We're gonna go ahead and hit finish. We're gonna see if this runs and it looks like we ran into an error. So let's go ahead and debug this. We did something wrong. Let's go back. Let's go back one more time. One more time, go back. And let's try the Unicode after searching. You have to make sure the Unicode is selected. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. Next and let's try it. The only way to find out is by trying. So we're gonna hit finish. And it looks like that was successful. So that's how you export your data from SQL Server Management Studio onto a CSV file and to finally check, let's make sure that information is there. So it looks like it's there. Remember to subscribe, check out the videos before if you wanna learn how to export and import data within SQL Server Management Studio.